Hello, you guys. Welcome to YouTube land. And how you guys doing this Sunday? I miss Kiki coming to you with a little things that's going on in the news. A lot of the girls already hit on the serious things. So I kind of went to boss up and found a couple of things to do a little video on early this morning. Um, this is Sunday. Basically, uh, yesterday, Saturday, I think May 23rd, uh, basically the verdict came down for the Cleveland cop named uh, Michael Brillo. I didn't keep up with it, but I seen that in 2012, it was a couple in a car. I guess they ran through some lights or whatever. Don't quote me on that. I'm not for sure. I'm not familiar with the story, but there were... Um, 137 bullet holes shot into the car and Brillo was one of the officers who was charged and uh, of course he was acquitted yesterday and uh, they said 13 officers shot in that car 137 shots and I think this officer got on top and unloaded through the window another uh, black couple that has been lost you know in uh our casualty of our young men that's dying off recently with all the uh, murders that's going on. But uh, I didn't want to start this off on a sad video. It's Memorial Day weekend. We're here in Vegas. And basically, we got Chris Brown out here. He's performing. And uh, I hear that uh, he's going to be at the Palms again. And um, he has stipulations with his visitation this time. <laughs> he can't have more than 15 people in his room. And uh, Miss Carucci is going to be doing an appearance. And uh, supposedly this is the first time they're supposed to be meeting up ever since their breakup. So, you know, I like Chris Brown, you guys. So, you know, Chris Brown, I'm praying for you. Please, please don't let us down, you know. No basketball games, no nothing. Go do what you're supposed to do, young man. Take care of that beautiful daughter. And keep it moving. I guess also... Wiz Khalifa was supposed to be here this weekend, and his baby mama, Amber Rose, he didn't want her to rain on his parade. I guess she's supposed to be appearing at one of these pool parties, too. But uh, I guess, you know, my ninjas, uh, it just goes to show the baby mama say, or the girlfriends, ex-girlfriends, whatever they are now, whatever they title, maybe they still need to make their bread, their money, their cheese also. So it is what it is. Keep it pushing. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. I seen, I was on Bossa. Uh, Sierra, um, I guess she's starting dating Russell Williams, Wilson. I know she went to the White House with um, him. Uh, she attended a party. And uh, I guess on the blogs this morning, it well, yesterday it appeared Sierra and Russell was walking and he had the stroller and he was pushing the baby. So I guess Mr. Uh, Future got pissed off and mad. And they say on Instagram this morning, he went in. He deleted it before I could see it. Whatever, whatever, whatnot. But my thing is, we all know when you date someone, they didn't get married. Uh, allegedly, he cheated on her. So, future. And then you was right back with the other baby mama. Boy, please. What, 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 what's your issue? What's wrong? Also, I see Stevie J and Jocelyn also cutting up this morning on the blogs. I guess Stevie J posted some shit. He was in rehab and Jocelyn was treat, uh, cheating on him. And she posted some shit like, cry baby, cry baby, suck your mama titty. Um, is this just to get us to watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta a little bit stronger or harder? Are the ratings going down? Or is this the Jordans on social media cutting up? Can y'all keep y'all relationship a little bit private? Do we got to see everything? I guess we do. <laughs> but I love it. It is what it is. All right. So I guess also this week, Nicki Minaj and Beyonce came out with feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling it. That's my, that's my jam. I'm feeling myself. I guess Undali, they did a quick little video when they was at Coachella. And uh, everybody talking about Beyonce and the Jersey little um, uh, bathing suit she had on. And uh, supposedly Nikki had 17 pervert, which uh, someone proved, I think it was Ashley Miller, that that's a shirt and it was worn before. It's not Dragon Tiger. I don't know. 
I don't care. I love the video. Someone said also that um, Beyonce did the video like that with um, that little video with where she just recorded on the phone. Damn, I'm like you, late, uh, Lady Nika. Every time I get on this goddamn tape, I forget everything I'm going to talk about. I got to write it down. Bitch getting old. But anyway, they was just saying that uh, Beyonce don't get too comfortable with these little quick videos. I love them. It is what it is. I love the video. I love Nikki. I love Beyonce. And feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling it. Let's keep it pushing. Um... We seen, um, I'm just going to real, 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 real briefly, this Kenya Moore and supposedly the date she did on Millionaire Match, it was supposedly a hoax. I love Kenya. My personal opinion, Kenya, I, you know, maybe she just doing this to keep her spot on the Housewives. Team Twirl, I love Kenya, don't get me wrong. I think if Kenya Moore really, really, really wanted a man, Kenya can get a man. Come on now. That girl is successful. She's beautiful. You can't tell me Kenya Moore can't get a man. Hell, I see some of the fucked up, the most fucked up people get married over, over, and over again. I don't care how crazy Kenya is. I don't care what she's been through. I don't care about her mama issues. If Kenya really wanted a man, Kenya Moore could get a man. I think myself, maybe she could have been hiring her somebody else again to make it look good, to get the ratings. Because all that shit is fixed. I'm sorry. Vivica Fox, you can relax. Go do you. Get your shit together. Quit always chiming in. You, you too old for that. Portia, let it go. Let it go. As the kids tell me, have you seen Frozen, Portia? Go watch Frozen. Okay. And uh, we're going to keep it moving on that note. Let me see. Mariah Carey, I guess she's here in town. She had, She's here at Caesars performing. She had canceled a couple of shows. I guess <clears throat> she had bronchitis that night. And uh, I seen a little picture. And she done got a little bit thick of and I guess she performed at the Billboard Awards. Somebody said she don't sound the same. She hit that note at the end and it wasn't the same. Of course, they voice change. She done been in the game for 20 years. Just like, you know, I hear Janet Jackson is supposed to be returning. And, you know, I'll listen to it. And they say she whisper when she talk. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. We're here for entertainment. And we're going to check them all out. Um... I seen um, where everybody has talked about the little girl that posted or made the fake Facebook page. I seen see men in, and a lot of people went in on it, and uh, a lot of people have spoke on it. Um, a lot of the YouTubers and uh, a lot of people got really, really deep. I raised a, a young lady. My daughter's twenty five now, and you know what? Um, I agree with you. We need to watch what these children do. And also, there's no how, no way we can monitor. I'm like, Nico, there's no way, no how we can monitor these motherfuckers and everything they do, okay? That worldwide internet, I just started a Facebook and damn, boom, 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 boom. These motherfuckers message you left and right, you know, blowing you up, hitting you up, saying this, saying that. You know that shit fake pages. You know that shit ain't true. You never know when you're going to deal with a motherfucking predator, a stalker, a prowler, a rapist. You never know what's going to happen. I'm an older woman and I do not date off the fucking internet. I just don't do it. If I don't know you, don't be sending me messages. Don't, don't do that shit. I don't know you motherfuckers. I don't want to know you. I'm good. I'm sorry I done left where I was going with this. But for that little girl, 13 years old, posting face, uh, fake Facebook pages. And when the mama went in, I don't think she went into a barrister her saying she don't know how to wipe her ass yet. I didn't see it myself. She just letting you know the bitch is still wet behind the ears, okay? This motherfucker should be somewhere trying to learn what's four plus four. She needs to learn how to speak a second language if she can. Learn the first stage of algebra. Hell, if the bitch on title one, go learn how to conjugate a verb. It's a lot of things in life she needs to be doing. I wouldn't have shamed her and put a video up 
And like, it, it, it's 50 50. I wouldn't have shamed her. And uh, if she would have beat her ass and put it up, they would have picked her up. But I would have fucked her up. I would have took her shit, like I've heard C Minute say about her daughter. But I, I myself personally, I would not have posted a video to shame my child. And not the world to shame her, but her fellow schoolmates will drag her like a motherfucker and it will embarrass her for the rest of her life children are cruel so we have to be careful you know i'm a parent my children are older now you, you i'm sorry i wouldn't have done it but that's my personal opinion you guys if you like what you see like um like comment subscribe follow me on twitter tiki underscore 44 i have a facebook tiki hickman i have to get off here i don't have that much time i'm trying to get better i'm trying to learn more things shout out to the ghetto view lady nika uh squeaky all you guys that are showing me love i really 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 appreciate it i thank you guys have a nice day have a nice weekend happy memorial day and you guys be blessed